Consider the moment you launch your go-to website. You enter the address, hit enter, and within seconds, the page appears, complete with words, pictures, and even videos. It might seem effortless to you, but behind the scenes, your browser and the server hosting the site are quietly exchanging information. They cooperate by following the same set of rules known as a protocol. On the internet, the most common protocol is HTTP, or its more secure upgrade, HTTPS. In this article, we'll explore what these protocols are, why they matter, and how HTTPS protects your information. Speaking of seamless experiences, if you're enjoying this smooth flow of knowledge, why not hit that subscribe button? Your brain will thank you for the regular dose of tech insights from Knowledge Catch. Before diving into HTTPS, it's worth asking, what exactly is a protocol? At its core, a protocol is simply a collection of rules that allow two systems to communicate. Just as people need a common language to talk, computers and servers need a shared set of instructions to understand each other. On the web, the protocol that made browsing possible is HTTP, which stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol. HTTP specifies how data flows from your browser to a web server. When you type in a URL, your browser sends an HTTP request, asking for a page, picture, or video. The server then sends back the requested material. This quick request response cycle is the foundation of web browsing. Your browser is the client and the website is the server. They exchange requests and responses. Despite all its usefulness, HTTP has a major flaw. It transmits information in plain text. Anyone who intercepts the connection can literally read exactly what's being sent or received. Think of it like writing a note on a postcard. Anyone who handles it can read the message. Early in the web's history, this wasn't much of an issue. But as the web evolved into a place where we log into bank accounts, share private information, and purchase items online, this lack of privacy became more than just an abstract concern. That's where HTTPS comes in. The S stands for secure. Rather than transmitting data in the open, HTTPS encrypts it. Imagine sealing that postcard in an envelope that can only be opened by the intended recipient. Even if someone intercepts the message, they can't read it. How does it work? HTTPS is built on cryptographic protocols known as SSL, Secure Sockets Layer, and its successor, TLS, Transport Layer Security. These protocols establish an encrypted connection between your browser and the server. When you visit an HTTPS site, your browser first verifies the site's SSL certificate to ensure it's legitimate. After this verification, the two parties establish a secure communication channel. To see encryption in action, imagine sending the text, hello. Over HTTP, an eavesdropper could read it in plain text. But with HTTPS, the same content might appear as 5DF7X exclamation point 93 at sign Q. Scrambled text that only the recipient server, with the proper decryption key, can unscramble back to hello. The benefits of HTTPS extend far beyond just scrambling your data. It ensures confidentiality, keeping outsiders from reading your communications. It guarantees integrity, meaning data can't be altered during transmission. And it provides authentication, ensuring you're actually connected to the legitimate website, not a fake one designed to deceive you. These protections have enormous impact on everyday life. When you enter your credit card number while shopping online, HTTPS prevents others from intercepting it during transmission. The same applies when logging into your bank account, checking email, or updating social media. Without HTTPS, all this personal data would be exposed to potential attackers. To indicate this protection is active, browsers display a small padlock icon next to the web addresses. That padlock is your confirmation that HTTPS is working. It means the site has a valid SSL certificate and your session is encrypted. Conversely, if you see a not secure message, the page is still using basic HTTP, so you should avoid submitting sensitive information. Over time, the internet has increasingly adopted HTTPS as the default standard. Today, browsers like Chrome and Firefox explicitly label non-secure sites as such, 
and search engines like Google even give HTTPS sites a ranking advantage. This shift has compelled the vast majority of developers to adopt HTTPS, and virtually all major websites have already made the transition. In summary, HTTP and HTTPS are the fundamental building blocks of web communication. HTTP gave us the early internet but offered no real protection. HTTPS solved this problem by encrypting information, ensuring both privacy and trust. The next time you notice that small padlock icon in your browser, remember, it's more than just a symbol. It's a shield quietly working in the background to protect your information. With that, we conclude our exploration of HTTP and HTTPS. If there's one thing to remember, it's always to look for that padlock, especially when dealing with sensitive information. The web is amazing, and with tools like HTTPS, it can also be secure. Thanks for watching.